and we think we've not lost much. But if we are afraid that the West may laugh at us, then we'll become like the West, and then our ancestors will turn in their graves. From Singapore's violent past. The Japanese occupation which taught me the meaning of life, society, power. I understood then what happened in Nazi Germany or in Southeast Asia when the Japanese surrendered. And also that if you have that same power but used to good ends, you can reshape a society. Understanding the reasons behind Singapore's economic growth is crucial in appreciating the country's success and can provide valuable insights for other nations looking to develop their economies. Are you ready? So let's get started. The establishment of the Port of Singapore in 1965 is one of the most significant events in the development of the Singapore economy. It was a result of the vision and hard work of the then Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, who saw the need for a modern and efficient port that could support the country's growing economy. The Port of Singapore was officially opened in July 1965 and quickly became one of the busiest ports in the world. In just a few years, it surpassed the neighboring ports of Rotterdam and Antwerp to become the second busiest port globally by container throughput. In 2019, the Port of Singapore handled a total of 36.6 million TEUs, 20-foot equivalent units, making it one of the largest and most efficient ports in the world. The establishment of the port had a profound impact on the Singapore economy as it created a large number of jobs, attracted foreign investments, and provided a platform for the growth of trade and logistics industries. The port also helped to transform Singapore into a hub for shipping, as well as a gateway for goods between Asia and the rest of the world. The implementation of the Economic Development Board EDB in 1968 is another critical event in the development of the Singapore economy. The EDB was established as a government agency, with the mandate of attracting foreign investments and nurturing local businesses. The EDB was instrumental in shaping the economic landscape of Singapore and played a key role in transforming the country into a vibrant and thriving economy. The EDB was established under the leadership of then Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, who recognized the importance of attracting foreign investment to drive economic growth. Over the years, the ETB has been successful in attracting a large number of multinational corporations, MNCs, to set up operations in Singapore and in supporting the growth of local businesses. As of 2021, Singapore is home to over 7,000 MNCs, including leading global companies such as Google, Amazon, and Samsung. These MNCs have invested billions of dollars in the country and created hundreds of thousands of jobs for the local population. The ETB has also provided support and resources to local businesses to help them grow and become competitive in the global market. In addition to attracting foreign investment, the ETB has also played a key role in promoting innovation and entrepreneurship in Singapore. The ETB has established various programs and initiatives to encourage the development of new and emerging industries, such as biotechnology and digital media. The implementation of the Economic Development Board EDB in 1968 has been a pivotal moment in the development of the Singapore economy. The EDB, under the leadership of Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, has played a critical role in attracting foreign investment, nurturing local businesses, and promoting innovation and entrepreneurship. As a result of the EDB's efforts, Singapore has transformed into a thriving and vibrant economy that is a model for other countries to follow. The development of the tourism industry in the 1970s was a significant positive event in the development of the Singapore economy. The tourism industry has been a major contributor to the country's economic growth and has created hundreds of thousands of jobs for the local population. The government of Singapore, under the leadership of then Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, recognized the potential of the tourism industry and made it a priority to develop the sector. The government invested in infrastructure such as hotels and attractions, and promoted the country as a tourist destination both domestically and internationally. The efforts of the government paid off, and Singapore quickly became a popular tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year. In 2020, the country received a record 18.5 million tourists, generating over 27 billion SGD in tourism receipts. The tourism industry has created hundreds of thousands of jobs, particularly in the hospitality and service sectors, and has contributed to the growth of related industries, such as retail and food and beverage. 
In addition to the economic benefits, the development of the tourism industry has also had a positive impact on the country's cultural and social fabric. It has helped to promote cultural understanding and exchange and has made Singapore a more vibrant and cosmopolitan city. The development of the high-tech industry in Singapore was a significant event in the development of the country's economy. In the 1980s, the government of Singapore, under the leadership of then Prime Minister Gok Chok Tong, recognized the importance of developing a high-tech industry to drive economic growth and create high-value jobs for the local population. To support the development of the high-tech industry, the government established the National Computer Board, NCB, in 1981. The NCB was tasked with promoting the use of information technology IT in the country and with providing support to local companies in the IT sector. The government also provided tax incentives and other forms of support to attract foreign high-tech companies to set up operations in Singapore. These efforts paid off, and Singapore has since become a major hub for high-tech companies in Southeast Asia. As a result of these efforts, the high-tech industry has become a major contributor to the growth of the Singapore economy. In 2020, the high-tech sector generated over $130 billion in revenue and employed over 160,000 people. That is it for today. I hope you liked this video. For more updates on this topic, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Remember, capitalism is about creating value, not money. See you all soon with more interesting information. Till then, see you.